Hello, my name is Kevin McCarthy, and today I'd like to give you an overview of the Top Performer Program. I'm the author of a book called The On Purpose Business, that, from which the, the Top Performer Program was derived. Top Performer stands for the On Purpose Performer. As the CEO of a business consulting firm, I found that a lot of times we were going in and doing strategic work with the top of an organization. And what would happen is we were figuring a way how to drive that deep into the organization. And what we looked at is saying if, if we can have each person in that organization begin to build a strategic approach to their work so they could start to think like the president of a company, even though they worked within the business, then those people would be able to take off on the job and they could become a top performer. So what this program is doing is basically taking these concepts that are tried and true business principles that we've worked with organizations in the large context and driving them down to the individual level. The way we do that is there are four pillars to the top performer. Now the four pillars to the top performer are basically first is the purpose principle, second is Think Inc, third is the service model, and fourth is the manner of an on-purpose uh, performer or a top performer, and that manner is doing more of what you do best more profitably. Now let me go back to the first uh, pillar. It's the purpose principle. The purpose principle is really cool because what happens is you have a person over here and an organization here. And what happens is they get together. Well, what often times occurs is people, it's just a job, it's a paycheck, but for top performers, what we're doing is saying, here's who you are, here's the purpose of a person aligned with the purpose of an organization. That somebody's able to say, this is meaningful work. I can make a difference, I contribute, and, and I have an, a job and a company where they love that and that, it gives me a chance to express who I am and through that. So the purpose of the person aligned with the purpose of the organization is magical. It's powerful. It's, it's a sense of people say, pinch me. You mean I get to do that on the job? That is incredible. I love this work. That's the kind of employee we all want. Now, what happens in that, we, we break that alignment piece into two sections. One is called technical and the other is called tingle. Now, when there is technical alignment, it means basically the person has the qualities and the qualifications to do the job. When there's tingle, though, it means they have that excitement where they can sit there and say, oh, man, I love the work that I do. It is just the greatest thing. So what happens is when you take the high ability to do the job along with a high desire to excel, that is the essence of what it takes to be a top performer. But there's more. There's three other pillars that come along. So now that they've got the heart and the desire to do it, we go to the second pillar. The second pillar is the think principle, the think ink. And what we're trying to do is help them say, how am I going to think ink? And what that really is saying is, how do I begin to think like the president of my own business? So we actually have them sort of take their job and say, what if your job was outsourced to you or you were hired as a consultant to do your job? How would you look at it differently if it was a business that you had to deliver? And Maybe there were other people that were buying your business inside the company because every business has to create value. Every business has to have both short-term performance goals as well as long-term objectives. So we begin to get them to think ink their, their job in such a way that, that now they can move to that next level of understanding where they begin to say, how would I sell this? How would I market this? How would I grow this? How would I be productive? How would we be uh, creating more efficiencies? How would I be creating a positive work environment? How would I be doing all of the things that it takes to run a successful business? And I get the privilege of having all the resources of this company here to support me. And that's really what the Think Inc. model is attempting to do for people. Now the third pillar is the service model. The service model structurally sort of gets the hands in peace. It looks like an inverted triangle. And that inverted triangle has different layers in it. And each of those levels uh, speaks to an aspect that is just core to every business. In fact, whenever I was uh, creating the service model, it was kind of like trying to find a Rosetta Stone for business. I often like to think of it as maybe the directions behind the directions we don't get. It's not industrial engineering in terms of how it's put together, but it's really understanding what is behind the way things work and the way that they're put together. And so we're able to give people a very clear, crisp, clean model so that they can both analyze, build, correct, diagnose, do whatever it takes to take their business that they have and make it into a model of service. That's why we call it the service model. At the top of it are customers. At the bottom of it is your purpose. And somewhere between your purpose, your desire to excel, 
and serving that customer, there are layers, and we close that gap so that they can get to top performance. Now the fourth pillar. The fourth pillar is uh, interesting because it's different than the other three. It's an integrating pillar. It's a place where we have to bring the heart, the head, and the hands together. The purpose principle, the think ink, and the service model, where these things have to work and come together. And in fact, it's a very simplifying concept. All we're really doing is saying to somebody, look, learn to do more of what you do best more profitably. Let me walk you through that. What you do best is your heart. So it's, that's the middle piece. Doing more is really about how you build the business, the service model. That's the second uh, pillar. And then the third pillar comes in in terms of doing it more profitably. Now, this is a very bottom line driven concept and this whole program is about improving the bottom line, but it's also profitability to us is contribution, making a difference. This is a great program for not-for-profits as well as for-profits because it's really taking the heart and driving it through to where it delivers great service, great performance. That's what it's ultimately about. It doesn't matter whether it's for-profit or not-for-profit because people can make a difference on the job. And it also accelerates and improves the bottom line. So that's what's happening whenever you take the purpose of the person, aligned with the purpose of the organization, they've got a president's mindset, they have a way and a manner of building model service, and then they can integrate by keeping to say, I want to do more of what I do best more profitably. And what we do in the program is we give them practical tools, tips, methods. We take the concepts, we make them apply it. It's highly interactive. They get their hands around it. They write on boards. They get in small groups. They get in larger groups. They discuss. They work alone. There's all sorts of interactive things. All the adult learning styles, they're all covered so people can grasp it no matter how they learn. All of these things are brought together into the top performer program so that now somebody can truly accelerate on the job. Now from those four pillars, they are now empowered to do and to work in a way that maybe they've never worked before. And really, as, as we look at what the Top Performer Program is about, yes, it is about creating this uh, next level of performance, but there's really something more to it than just simply improving their performance. I like to think of it as it's an opportunity to open up a dimension to work that most people have never even understood. I know that in my lifetime I've been blessed to really have some people who expected more out of me than I could expect out of myself. I had a seventh grade math teacher that sort of kicked me in the rear end one day and said, Kevin, you can do better and I know you can. You're a quality young man and I want to make sure that you stay on that path. And when Mr. Stifler said that to me, man, I remember that. It made a difference because he expected more out of me than I expected out of myself. And as a result, it brought my level of performance up. That's what this program does. It brings people and it says to them, you know what, you are capable of so much more. Maybe you've never been shown how to get there. This program, it takes them through their heart, their head, and their hands, and how to integrate that so they have the ability to take their level of performance up a notch, up another notch, and they can keep going and keep going and keep going so that they suddenly can sit there and say, wow, I am capable. I can do this. And it's not just sort of soft stuff. This is hard skills as well as soft skills so that they can look at it and say, I can make a difference in not just on the job, but in life. We're opening up a dimension to, to work, which is really opening a dimension to life so that people can go to this top performance level. Now the bottom line is any business, any organization, any not-for-profit, when they have top performers working in that organization, it's going to soar. It has to because people are just going to, to move to that next level. And that's a place where I want to be working, and I'm sure it's a place where you'd like to be working. And so I encourage you, take a look. Take a look at this Top Performer program. See how it can make an enormous difference in your organization. See how it can make an enormous difference in your life. Be a product of the product. Take the Top Performer program. And I think you'll find that when you do that, you're going to come out of there saying, wow, I learned some things today. It's different. I see work differently than I maybe I've ever seen it before, and I want to go to the next level. Imagine that duplicated throughout your organization as one person after the next seeks to become a top performer. Now, that's what it's all about, so I challenge you. Grab a hold of this program. Let it take you and your organization to the next level, and you'll all be on purpose.